Hey there, thanks for stopping by the Soul Beauty Chat. My name is Fatima and on this channel we talk about faith, soul, and beauty. So if you're interested in any of those topics, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about conviction. Someone asked me in a recent video, I think it was the video when I talked about why I stopped watching Insecure. They asked me what does conviction feel like? The video actually got some pretty interesting comments. If you haven't already checked it out, make sure you click the little I and go and watch it. It said, what does conviction feel like? Is it just being annoyed? Is it deeper than that? How do you know that you're convicted about something? Just been left and right, God has just convicted me of everything. This one minute is just like this, 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 and that. And I'm just like, okay, God, all right, I see what you're doing here. I'm gonna follow. <laughs> Mission. A firmly held belief or opinion. Comes forward is a belief, opinion, view, thought, persuasion, um, idea, position, or stand. That's what conviction means, right? And Conviction from a biblical standpoint feels like a tugging on your spirit. Conviction can be something as simple as what I feel like what the what most people call it is a guilty conscious. Um, that's kind of what conviction feels like. Feels like this is just tugging that I know that something is off, and that conviction happens through spending time with God. Prior to spending time with God, a lot of the things that I currently feel convicted about didn't bother me. So like I talked about before, watching certain types of things on TV, certain types of movies, um, listening to certain artists, um, going to certain places, like I just felt completely fine with it. I was just like, you know, I know God, I don't have to do all of that to be a Christian type of thing. And it wasn't until I really started spending time in God's word. Like it was one thing to know of God and say like, yeah, I'm saved. But it was a difference once I started like seeking God on a daily basis where I started seeking to spend time with God and to learn more about God. Because the more that I did that, the more that I wanted to learn about God, the more I started to realize that we are supposed to be made in an image of him. And when I compared my image to his image, I realized that a lot of things would have to change in order for me to be more like God. Now, like I said, I already knew that I was saved, that I was covered and God was my personal savior, but I still felt this pulling to, and a desire to be more like God the more that I spent time with him. And that's a natural part of the process. That process is actually called sanctification, where you start to change a lot of the habits about yourself. Um, a lot of times we tend to kind of convince ourselves that if this is the way I am, this is the way I'll always be. I've always been, always been a negative person and I'll always be a negative person. That's just how I am. The word of God actually says that we are to be transformed by the renewing of our mind, Romans 12 and two. So if we're being transformed by the renewing of our minds. That means that we have to start kind of shutting down those negative thoughts and I actually made a video up here where I talk about how you can do that but we have to basically get to a point where we decide that that's not how I am I actually want to change and I know that through God's strength I can do that and the Holy Spirit is actually the guiding force behind conviction so the Holy Spirit is literally that pull that you get when you know that God is pushing you to change something, pushing you in a new direction, at least something or let go of something. And you don't know where it's coming from. And sometimes it could be things where you're just like, I would never want to give up that. Like, that's how I felt about my music. I was like, I would never in my life say, I'm going to stop listening to this artist, that artist and this artist, because personally, I love their music. I love their style. So I would never say that on my own. So once I felt that feeling, of this isn't sitting right with me once i would maybe watch an episode of a show and think why do i feel so like grossed out by this particular show and i used to watch it all the time like i think once those start those moments starting hitting hitting me i just got very clear instructions that it's time to let it go like i'm pushing you into a new season i'm pushing you into a new path i'm changing you from the inside out and in order to change sometimes we have to be willing to let go of those things that keep us in the same mindset so that's what conviction feels like um at least for me i don't know if this is what it feels like for everyone but for me personally this is what conviction feels like it feels like that deep gut feeling that something is just off something is just sitting not sitting well with me and that it's time to let it go i hope that that was helpful for the person that asked that question and for anyone else that may have been wondering what conviction feels like if you have 
um, ever experienced being convicted about something, please share your experience down below. I would love to hear from you guys and I know that your testimony will be powerful and help someone else. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with a family, friend, relative. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you head over to my website, FatimaFarmer.com and sign up for the free seven day prayer journaling challenge. This challenge includes audio guides and prayers that you can download that will help you build your faith in a stronger relationship with God. I really hope that it's a blessing to you on your journey.